and I travel to different places around the world looking for solutions for a sustainable future. Of course, we look at visible outcomes such as products and services, but what we really focus on is process. Are people striving for sustainability even in the practices and procedures that we can't see? How's the engagement for our latest project? It's really shot up. People's interest in sustainability definitely seems to be rising. You can see a big increase in the related data here. Anything can become data. Our words, movements, tastes and curiosities. By 2025, the amount of data produced globally in a single year will top 175 zettabytes. Technology will surely be needed to create and store such a massive amount of data. But how will this technology impact the environment? What I want to find out about now is not the technology that we've seen in our previous journeys, but a more fundamental technology. For example? The technology that lies behind all the world's other technologies. The semiconductor may be almost invisible, but it is ubiquitous from the smallest devices to AI and even spacecraft. As a necessity of daily life, the number of semiconductors being manufactured each year keeps growing exponentially. This is an area we know nothing about, but I'm so curious to find out more. Yeah, this is a huge project we're taking on, but I can't wait. We decided to look into the process of how this huge number of semiconductors, which can be found in all the world's technologies, are being manufactured and how greenhouse gases are treated. Oh, this is definitely not like any factory we've covered before. It looks like more like an eco-friendly university campus than a factory. The production line requires temperature and humidity to be kept constant for 365 days a year. In this space, where not even a single grain of dust is allowed to enter, an unmanned, automated system is in operation. So it goes through all the decades. Now, we've seen the cutting-edge technology behind semiconductor manufacturing, but what is their secret to make this technology sustainable? The secret to advanced eco-friendly processing can be found in an unexpected place. Introduce RCS. Now we're on the way to the roof. There is a regenerative catalytic system installed. Samsung Semiconductor is the first and only company in the semiconductor industry to install this regenerative catalytic system, a large-scale integrated greenhouse gas treatment facility. With all the plant's exhaust vents connected to the roof, gases can be treated at a low temperature saving on energy use and reducing atmospheric pollutants. So to sum things up, all of the workplace's facilities are connected to this treatment facility on the roof so that the greenhouse gases produced at the center can be broke down immediately before being released. But there's one extremely important part of the regenerative catalytic system. It's the catalyst that breaks down the processed gases. After three years of research, we've developed a catalyst with high activity and outstanding stability. Currently, we are using a second-generation catalyst, and now we continue to carry out the research to develop a more advanced third-generation catalyst that will be highly efficient at breaking down the gases with longer replacement cycle. Thanks to unending research and effort, they are now able to successfully break down approximately 95% of harmful gases. But it doesn't end there. We are currently performing research with the goal of replacing all of the top five carbon and fluorine based gases that contribute to climate change. Starting in 2018, a part of our products have been made using a C4F8 replacement gas called G1 gas that we developed ourselves. So they haven't just been researching one single solution. They construct the RCS, develop catalysts to improve performance, and even develop replacement gases. Why? The ultimate goal of Samsung Semiconductor is to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions to zero. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has committed to take action to limit the global rise in temperatures to 1.5 degrees Celsius. To this end, the world is joining forces to achieve carbon neutrality by the year 2050. 
Samsung Semiconductor has been making significant progress in its goal to achieve carbon neutrality through the use of renewable and newly developed sources of energy. Its plants in the US, Europe and China have completed their transition to 100% renewable energy. One of the first to complete this transition to renewable energy was this plant in Austin, Texas. As a world leader in advanced semiconductor technology, we're really proud to have received the industry's first triple standard for carbon, water, and waste by Carbon Trust. That took a tremendous amount of effort over multiple years. In order to expand the use of renewable energy, Samsung Semiconductor is rapidly transitioning to power purchasing agreements instead of renewable energy certificates. Plus, by adopting strategies tailored to each location, they intend to update all of their plants to run on 100% renewable energy by 2050. It was surprising to discover just how much sustainable technology has developed. But even more impressive was the mindset of the employees. Many people are trying very hard to solve this problem. We believe that the answer to this question must be found in the semiconductor. It is not something that can happen as a result of one person's exceptional idea. The entire department and all the employees work together, and that's why we are seeing this result. There's a real difference between 99% and 99.99%. .99%. So that's why we continue to research and develop in order to increase the result by 0.01%. These people have shown us why solidarity and cooperation are so important to combating climate change. In 2021, they saw a reduction of 6.03 million tons of greenhouse gases through greenhouse gas reduction projects. The amount of greenhouse gases that 92 million trees can remove in 10 years was eliminated in a single year. It's now been 23 years since we first began our efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in 1999. We've always had just one goal, to develop eco-friendly technology so we can reduce the environmental impact of semiconductors to zero. That's why we work so hard to develop technology that can make technology sustainable. To reduce the environmental impact of semiconductors to zero, We'll continue to do our best, step by step, so as not to leave behind even 1%. This journey was an unforgettable experience. Samsung Semiconductor has shown that technology can be the answer to a sustainable future. One person's dream may remain just a dream, but when everybody dreams together, it becomes reality.